what's going on YouTube back with another video and today I just want to say first off happy late Thanksgiving to everyone uh, I know I'm a couple of days late I uh, actually recorded this video this is my fourth time trying to do this video a lot of people don't realize what goes on behind the scenes with these videos from the noise levels in the background to just thinking that you've taken something out of a shot and it's still in the background um, it, it can get very complicated making YouTube videos on there at times so I had to redo this thing over this is the fourth time just trying to make a video telling you about my updates of what I have going on I just want to say happy late Thanksgiving to everyone out there the last video I made I, I kind of did a little sneak peek tease of uh, what was in the specialized box today you're able to see what that is that is the 2021 specialized chisel frame it is the uh, what do they call that color I know it's I think it's the green chameleon snake eye color um, really really cool colorway uh, so let me let me tell you what, what's going on and, and why um, I decided to actually do this build um, and shout out to um, what's the name of the bike company um, Eastern Shore Cycles in Alabama they were the ones that actually shipped the frame to me and uh, I was trying to find that frame everywhere and they were the only ones that had it in a size large that I could find um, as bikes are being sold out every right everywhere right now it's hard to find bikes it's hard to find parts it's hard to find frames so if you've been following my channel or even if you haven't been following my channel um, you know that I've I've uh, I bought the specialized epic was my first full suspension bike when I bought that bike I actually um, I actually did not know I was still kind of learning the whole process of full suspension compared to different types of mountain bikes um, the epic was my first uh, cross-country bike uh, I sold it because what I decided to do was I tried to narrow down all of my mountain bikes to just one bike and I felt as though the specialized epic even though as cool as it was um, I felt like it definitely was more of a racing bike and I did not want my racing bike to be the full suspension bike I wanted my trail bike to be the full suspension because of the wear and tear I was going to put on it and if I did decide to get another XC bike it would be a hardtail so that's what my goal was but at that time I didn't plan on getting a second bike I was just going to do the all-in-one trail bike well as you use that bike more and more and I've gotten more familiar with the stump jumpers it's an awesome bike um, I realized that I would like to have a second bike and that would be another cross-country bike and I decided to go with the chisel um, I did one to, actually I was looking at an epic hardtail but the epic hardtails are just so expensive and you can never ever find them on sale and they just sell out very quickly even before COVID and it's just like you know what let me just let me just get a lower lower model of that which you know I think is is the chisel and um, and so when I first started looking at the chisels right before COVID hit um, oh I just saw the colorway I'm sorry the colorway of that green frame is gloss chameleon snake eye uh, forest green my first chisel that I was interested in buying um, came out in 2020 but I actually was looking at it right when COVID hit and it was this one it was this blue chisel I actually found it my size in a store in Raleigh North Carolina and at that time I didn't realize that the bike craze would hit as much as it did and so he had one in stock the the shop owner I gave him a call and I'm like hey you know I'm interested in that chisel um, I'm coming from Florida you know what can you do if I if I drive all the way up there to buy it from you and he said um he said listen uh he said I can't do anything he said because this bike is going to sell before this weekend he said if you want it I highly recommend that you buy it now because by Sunday it'll be gone so I called him kind of bluff on it I was still going to actually you know go up there and get it I was just kind of trying to tease him to see if he was going to give me a discount or anything like even if it was five percent or throw in some pedals or throw in some you know something some accessories he didn't want to do anything and so I called him bluff on it next thing you know I called that same Saturday I think it was a Wednesday when I called him or Thursday I called him that Saturday the bike was sold and he was right 
and ever since then bikes have just been selling out like crazy so but actually I'm glad that I didn't get it one because I already have a blue bike the stump jumpers blue number two um, now for 2021 they've made some changes to the frame they've made uh, the dropper post 30.9 millimeters which is good you can put a regular seat post in there instead of that really skinny one like they did back in the day um, and some other minor upgrades they did to the bike uh, now as far as the the 2021 colorways for the chisel they have that red that fades to black and then they have the black chisel and when it comes to bikes or anything really I'm, I'm I like like loud colors so when I saw that green frame I was interested in it when I first saw it but at that time I wasn't planning on on getting another bike in my last video which was part three of the Santos uh, series that I was doing I actually there's a clip in there close to the beginning where I actually pass a guy that has that same chameleon green specialized color frame and when I saw it I yell out oh my god is that the chisel that colorway is sick and once I saw that frame in the actual light in person that's when I knew I had to get that frame and what I decided to do was get the chisel frame and then I would build my own bike within six months I'm giving myself a six month time frame the funny thing is is I don't know much about building bikes this is all new to me now I've learned a lot in the, in the past couple of years that I've been mountain biking so I know certain parts and certain components but actually doing more research on exactly the tools that you need and what these components do and what you have to have in order to you know put a component on or 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 take it off or you know um, the type of materials in the components um, the functions of the components you know I've learned a whole lot throughout this process and so it's become something that I actually am glad that I'm doing but the downside that I didn't realize is the cost of building your own bike the cost is way more expensive than purchasing a bike already built but there's pros and cons to that number one every bike that you see I don't care how much you're spending on the bike I guarantee you there's gonna be something on that bike that you're gonna replace whether it's the seat whether it's the tires whether it's the pedals whether it's the stem whether it's the handlebars whether it's the brakes whether it's the cranks whether it's the uh, the derailleur there's gonna be something on that bike that you're not gonna like that you would want to replace or switch out with something else when you build your own bike you can build it exactly the way that you want it so this is the benefit of building my own bike and what I like about it now I originally gave myself a year to build this bike I was going I said you know what by next late summer I want to have this bike built and I was going to take my time of buying the parts well what I found out again with doing this process of building your own bike parts are just as hard to find as the bikes and they sell out quick and they very rarely go on sale the good thing is is that it's Black Friday around this time there's a lot of sales going on and Cyber Monday and so because of that I was able to get the majority of my parts for 20% off some I got for 10% and there's a couple like a two or three that I got for only 5% off but I still got a discount on every single price every single piece of the of the of the bike that I'm building um, every component I've got a discount on so that's the good thing about buying components around the Thanksgiving time the downside is I didn't plan on spending this much money on this but because I got a lot of stuff on sale I went ahead and got it now the only thing that I'm missing at this point is going to be the seat and the fork and the fork is the one of the most expensive pieces and so that's going to be about a thousand dollars I'm not going to buy that until probably two or three months down the line that's what's going to hold me up but I've spent so much already I just can't spend another thousand to drop right now on a fork and so that's going to be my hold up but everything else I've pretty much gotten and I've gotten at, at decent prices I would have liked to buy, buy the whole group set that I wanted to get as far as the derailleurs and chains and you know the cranks and all of that but the thing is is they're, they're sold out everywhere and they're back ordered and you just don't know exactly when that's coming in so I had to get what I could individually while I could get it on sale um, let me let me say this as well for those of you who are actually interested in building a bike um, 
Check all the major bike company websites and see what sales they have. Joining their newsletter might save you 15 or 10 percent. Also, check out the ones that don't charge tax or don't charge shipping fees. I usually use uh, CambriaBike.com. I use WorldwideCycling.com. I use Jensen USA. I also use um, Pro Bike Supply. I use uh, Backcountry a lot. Now, let me tell you about Backcountry. Backcountry, I don't see it going on right now because of the holidays, but they normally have this thing where you can use their 20% off coupon off a regular price item now you can only use that coupon one time but here's the trick about that when it comes to using that 20% coupon somehow backcountry is able to recognize the ISP address uh, from the device or computer that you use it on so for example I use the coupon on my phone and now I'm not able to use the 20% off again using my phone but if I go to my home computer and go to backcountry.com and use the coupon, I can use it that way. But once I use it on my home computer, I can't use it again. But then I can go to work and use it on my work computer and I'm able to use a 20% coupon, but I can't do it twice. So you can use that 20% coupon on different devices, even putting in your same shipping and billing information and then it'll work, but it only works if you use a different device each time. So I was able to get some of very some of my most expensive parts for twenty percent off um, by using that little trick. So uh, I just want to throw that out there for you guys who who may be building your own bike. Um, because the thing is, is you know whether you use it once or twice, if someone else were to use it, they're still going to get the twenty percent off. So to me, it really doesn't matter, you know, how many times you or how many devices you use it on. My thing is, is it could be someone else using it, so it's not hurting backcountry because you're still getting them business and someone else still could have used it if they were a totally different person. So it really makes no difference in that aspect. So yeah, try to do that if, you, if, you, if you're looking to save 20% on some major expensive parts. I don't wanna go into what I've bought as far as the parts yet. That's another reason why I had to redo this video. I actually shot it and actually some of the parts of the bike that I'm that I'm going to do were in the background and I was like damn I had to I got to redo this whole thing over again and so but anyway um, so that's that's where I'm at now when it comes to, to mountain biking um, I still want to get into actually cross-country racing that's why I want to actually build this bike from scratch um, and why I'm, I'm really excited about it the thing about this though is is that um, you know, I, I know it's a, I'm kind of late into the sport. There's a lot of people who are really good, but it's exciting to me because again, I used to be a runner and I can't run as much anymore. And so this would be the next best thing is actually doing, uh, you know, racing, you know, as far as uh, cross country racing. Um, I've only done one race so far. I had a blast on it. I think I did pretty well for what the race was. I haven't done any real serious XC races as of yet. But hopefully, you know, I'll get into that and, and we'll see how it goes later on down the line. So that's my reasoning for it. Yes, I am going to use this bike for what it's meant to, to be. The stump jumper is going to be my, you know, fun on the trails with friends or by myself and just, you know, getting getting on the trails and just, you know, doing what I normally do in these videos. But the bike that I'm building is for is for a different reason. So just for those of you who are out there who are like me and still new to this, do realize that you're going to spend a lot more money building your bike, but you're going to get it how exactly that you want it. Um, you're not going to have any extra things that you have to take off or resell or things of that nature. And so uh, my next thing is a fork. I'm looking at um, a couple of options, probably the Fox 32, um, maybe a Rock Shock. I don't know yet, but we'll see how that goes so if anyone knows how I can get any discounts on a on a brand new 2020 or 2021 Fox 32 step cast uh, that would be helpful uh, just kind of comment below but if not you know I understand I get it I'll, I'll look out myself to see what I can find um, I got some really good deals on my components um, I was actually able to even save 10% on the dropper post which is really kind of hard to do for this model that I bought and there was no tax on on that dropper so I kind of saved some money that way the wheel set I actually got a really good deal off eBay there was a guy selling it he took it off a 2021 
specialized uh, Epic, I think it was an Evo or maybe an S-Works. Um, and these are specialized uh, rims and um, they're brand new, never, never used with the actual rotors already attached. He, he threw in the stems as well. Got that for a really, really good deal. He's a bike mechanic. I told him what I was trying to do. He entered the auction and just, just gave him to me for a really good price. So uh, shout out to him. And um, yeah, I've, 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 I've come across some pretty good deals. I actually just saw a uh, the cassette that I wanted was normally 150 bucks. I actually bought it on offer up from a guy uh, for 60 bucks, man. So. So yeah, I've, I've really been looking out for for deals, but there's some things that you just can't find that you know you I had to I had to knuckle down and and basically pay retail price for. But you know it is what it is, and so I'm excited about it. I'll show you the work as I progress. I'll do videos at a time, kind of showing you the progression of the bike. Um, I did get the ride wrap again. I've already put that on the frame. Um, I didn't want to show that whole video again because I've already done a video with the ride wrap. So I didn't want to actually have to do it again. If you're looking on how to install or how that works, check out my other video where I do my specialized stump jumper with the ride wrap, but I've already already um, put that on to protect it. And uh, they actually gave me a 25% discount for being a, a, a second um, buyer for that. So shout out to ride wrap for them doing that as well. So, so far so good, but I have spent the, a lot more money than I should right now. So I'm just kind of trying to save up and, and wait on this fork. So anyway, I don't want to make this video longer than what it has to be. Hope everyone's doing well and I'll see you on the next video as I start to show you piece by piece my progression with the, with the build. All right, you guys take care. Have a good week. Check you out in the next video. Peace.